Baby, give me a minute, right? I'm checking something. USC soon, Eric Kanevsky. Are you fucking kidding me? So all over the news, TMZ, NBC, CBS, Daily Mail, all these outlets, right? They're all running stories this past week. And what is it? USC, you guys saw the title, is suing Eric Kinevsky for doing a Russian mafia prank and they put holy cost in the, in the title. There's a lot of problems I have with this. First of all, getting sued for pranks, people can't take jokes anymore. There's a lot of things I have to say, but I want to react because NBC just did a video, right, talking about it. I haven't watched it yet, and I want to see first with you guys what they're saying. The University of Southern California is suing two YouTubers following multiple classroom takeover pranks gone wrong. Innocent the building is pouring out. Students are running. Students are crying. They're screaming. The lawsuit saying the latest prank on March 29th involved defendant Ernest Konevsky storming into a Holocaust lecture claiming to be part of the Russian mafia demanding to speak to Hugo Boss while Konevsky and his associates... First of all... He didn't even know it was a Holocaust lecture. He just walked into some random classroom. You guys got to understand, man, these classroom pranks have been going on for a long, long time. You know, nobody knows what's in the class. They just walk into anyone that's got people in it. Oh, look at poor Hugo over here, man. Hugo Bai haven't responded to NBC's request for comment yet. Konevsky did tell the New York Times this prank was, quote, part of a dare that was supposed to be a harmless, funny scene. Yeah, it was supposed adding to Adding that the whole notion that we targeted a Holocaust class is absurd. I it is absurd. And the thing is crazy is I didn't even know this, right? Supposedly, or I guess it is true, I didn't look it up. Hugo Boss used to make costumes for the Nazis, right? And poor Hugo's name is Hugo Bai. That's his name, and they just shortened, and they call him Hugo Boss, but this has been going on. He's been called that for years, right? So happens that that company, and I didn't even know this, made costumes for the Nazis back in the day. So they're saying that he walked in the classroom, he targeted it because it was a Jewish Holocaust class. Meantime, Eric is Jewish. His grandfather was a refugee from Russia or Ukraine, I think. So let's see now what else they're going to say now. I was scared that there was an armed man inside. In the midst armed of the chaos, what? rumors spread quickly on campus. By the time it had gotten outside the room, um, there was a report with the man with the gun. But it's oh, not come the on. first time Konevsky and gun. I targeted USC. Last September, Konevsky's team forced Maybe the professor water out of the classroom and started teaching the class themselves, subjecting students to insults and demeaning behavior, according to the lawsuit. And last November, Bai ran into a classroom wearing a Squid Game tracksuit, begging for help in what ended up being a staged kidnapping. It left everyone in the classroom shaken up, according to USC. I talked to my colleagues at other universities. They're having folks that are in, in making incursions into other classrooms onto campus trying to uh, get uh, YouTube hits. Konevsky posted videos of this, pranks this at was other a good schools, one. including UCLA, Texas State, and last year, they even caused huh, an entire classroom this. to evacuate at Cal Long State. That was the first one. the pranks at USC, parents were immediately calling the school concerned for their children's safety. And not only did the students, safety. a number of students, and probably 15 to 20 percent, not show up for the next session. But we had students in neighboring classes not show up. We had to escort our faculty to and from their vehicles. Wait, hold on a second here. Okay. So the first couple minutes of the of the video, right? Or no, the first couple seconds, people realize, you know, oh, this is they or they thought that it was something serious. They're scared, all this shit, right? But then after, they know clearly it's a prank, right? And now they're scared the next day to go to school and they need escorts of security and they didn't show up for class. Come on, man. I'm gonna tell you guys what I think here in a second. Let this guy talk. To the class. USC currently has a restraining order forbidding Konevsky and Bai from setting foot on campus and posting any further videos of the three USC incidents. Konevsky told the New York Times the whole lawsuit and what everyone is reporting is very deceiving. It is. USC suing for compensatory damages, an amount to be proven at trial, and legal fees. The preliminary injunction hearing is set. Oh, wait, hold on a sec. 
All right, they want to sue him, right? Sue him for what? Eric's got nothing. Hugo is an immigrant from China. He's not even a fucking citizen here. And they want to sue him? What are they going to get? Nothing. So you know what this is? Colleges are a business, right? So this is a publicity stunt. They leak this to all the press, everybody, so everyone runs stories. Again, this is everywhere, right? Because it's publicity, free publicity. They know they're not going to get no money in the end. Eric's got shit, and so is fucking Hugo. What are you going to sue him for? For April 28th. This is our home. And when it's been violated, even if, quote unquote, for a prank, um, that, that harm doesn't go away easily. These are training orders. How does it shoot. harm not go away when it's a fucking prank? You know it's a prank, so laugh about it at the end. Don't cry. Come on, man. It's too much, dude. During a shift in public acceptance of these online pranks, uh, audiences seem to be less tolerant than what we saw years ago. And it's important to note here that this lawsuit also alleges that many of these students were traumatized and that they... Yeah, she, I'm going I'm to say she's correct on something, right? College campus pranks have been going on since the beginning of YouTube, right? But only now is there an issue, right? And I think... And she was saying, like, people are uptight now. They're less tolerant towards it. It's because since that word, I'm not even going to say anything. People are. They're pussies. Nobody wants to say nothing. No one wants to talk to nobody. They're scared of everything, right? I go to the gym. I used to talk to girls in the gym all the time, right? I used to meet girls in the gym because that's all over where I go. Girls, even guys just to talk as friends, right? Anyone you go up to now, they're, like, scared to talk to you. I've never seen some shit like this. So she's right on this one genuinely fear for their personal well-being that's bullshit okay good right. good finish all right, i had enough of it anyway all right so this is the thing okay i understand people getting scared but when they find out it's a prank they know the next day that nothing's going to happen to them they don't need no security escort nothing okay and this is all to me a publicity stunt and then the secondly you want to sue Eric, right? And bye. Sue them for what? Remember, guys, that movie, Rocky V. All right? It was one of my favorite ones. Most people don't like it, but I liked it, right? At the end, Rocky lost all his money, fucked up. And the guy goes, touch me and I'll sue you, right? And then Rocky goes, sue me. Sue me for what? And now, that's what Eric and bye is going to do because... They don't got nothing to sue them for. So let's see what's going to happen. I'm saying prayers for them because listen, man, in the end, they didn't mean harm at all with any of this stuff. It was meant to be a joke. I understand people these days don't get jokes, but that should be what it is. You know what I mean? Don't want them get them banned from campuses. That's fine. Do it, right? You don't want them there. I understand. But don't sue them. Unbelievable. Empty, empty feeling.